hey there, this is Jess K. I, um, I just got a brand new iPod Touch, uh, just yesterday, actually. And I've been kind of messing around with it, and I found a way to run the Active Worlds browser on iPod Touch, or on the iPhone. Let me go ahead and turn it on. And it takes a little while to update. Alright. So I can get it into landscape mode. So you can see a little bit better. Maybe not. Maybe it won't go. Alright. Okay. So, I can't figure out a way how to control browser movements on the iPod yet. I'm going to use my keyboard, which it's looking at. So, this is basically projecting off my computer. I'm going to go up here. And you can see this is changing to what I'm doing on my computer. I go talk to this little uh, Numbuzzing guy over here. You can't see it because of the way that uh, my screen is focusing. I just drag it over. It's a little messed up there. Let me see if I can fix that. And there's a description and a program menu that comes with the software I'm using. So there's a little Numbuzzy and he's right there. Uh, put my mouse over him. And there's the same description right there. So let's say I want to go into my tabs. There are my tabs and stuff. Um, let me do worlds. You see it's the little worlds list is loading now. It takes a little while on my computer. There you go. Uh, so let's see. I want to go to AWGZ. So I zoom in, drag it around, and, and press on AW. And so on here, on the actual computer monitor, it teleports me to AW Ground Zero. Tabs goes away. All right, and zoom out and show a little bit more of the browser. And so right now I'm standing in Alpha World Ground Zero. Uh, there's another little terse there, as you can see. And this is that same thing that I'm seeing on my computer right now. So I have a faster version on here, but I also have a version on here, which means I can technically. Play AW now on my iPod or iPhone. So uh, I think I, I can chat. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I can. Uh, I can chat. So um, I'm gonna type in. Uh, let me see. It's being a little weird. Um, okay. I'm going to back the camera here. Alright, so. Let me the keyboard up a little bit. Chat box. I'm going to type in, uh, using. And the, and the typing is a little slow, as you can see. I'm still getting used to the keyboard, so that's why it's a little weird. I uh, use my iPod Touch for a... Not a Q, a... W, maybe? AW, okay. So I just typed in using my iPod Touch for AW. Using the iPhone keyboard. Or the iPod keyboard. So it's showing up on the screen. I'm going to click uh, Return. It sends the chat to the actual window. And there it is. The same text that I just typed in. So yeah, I've got an AW to run on the iPod. It's a little complicated, it's a little strange. But, and I don't think, oh, just, I just close.
closed out of it. Hang on. There it is. I don't think I can go into landscape mode. No, I can't. So it's only a uh, portrait mode for now, but this is really awesome. As far as I know, you can't actually um, control movement in AW right now, but um, using your iPod. But this is an exciting uh, break for me because I've been wanting to have AW on the go, and this is kind of AW on the go. You just need to have your uh, desktop computer or your laptop computer running with AW on it. And um, and it should work flawless. You can't move around or anything, but you can go to different worlds and send telegrams and stuff. Uh, but that's about it. You can also use Firefox or Internet Explorer or any other browser or any other program uh, on your iPod or iPhone. Um, so that's what you can see if I'm running Windows XP down there. It's the same thing as you can see up here. So there's not much different there. It's like lock me in, but it's a little different. It actually is powered by something different than lock me in. So there it is, proof that you can run uh, Active Worlds 4.1 on the iPhone or the iPod Touch. And I think, yeah, I can zoom in, get a better view, somewhat. I mean, it's just like zooming in with it, with magnifier on Windows. But, uh, yeah, right now I'm at uh, Alpha World Ground Zero on the iPhone or the iPod and on the computer. So that is how you use Active Worlds on an iPod Touch or an iPhone. I'll post uh, tutorials and details probably at a later date, but that's just a demonstration to show you that I am not lying and this isn't a fake project or anything. So that's it.